Alright, to find composite figure areas, we have to cut the shapes into smaller shapes. Well, this shape has already been cut for us. We have a rec or a square. Of course, it's not drawn to scale. And then we have a semicircle. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the area of this square. So this square is a 12 by 12. To find the area of a square, you multiply 12 times 12 is 144. So that is the area of this part of our shape, and now we need this part. So I know how to find the area of a circle. Area of a circle is A equals pi times the radius squared. Squared means you're multiplying the radius by itself. And I know that the diameter of this part of the circle is 12. So if the diameter is 12, I need the radius, which we know is half of the diameter. So I'm going to divide 12 by 2. That means our radius is 6. So I'm going to plug that into the formula. Area equals 3.14 times the radius square. When we type that into the calculator, 3.14 times 6 squared, the area of the circle is 113.04. But I don't have a full circle. I have half of a circle. So when I find the area of a circle with a radius of 6, I have to divide that number by 2 because I only want area for half of that. When I do that, I get that the area is 56.52, and I'm going to add these two together. So the area of this whole composite figure is 205 tenths, I'm going to round to the nearest tenth, square yards. Make sure you have your unit, and because it's area, make sure you put that it is square. All right, for my next one, because this is seventh grade math, a lot of you would be tempted to cut this image right here and make that a rectangle and a triangle. But because this is seventh grade math, you don't know how to use Pythagorean theorem yet. Because if this is cut as a triangle, you would have to use that the base is 4 and the hypotenuse is 6. You don't know the formula yet to find this missing link. You'll, you'll learn that next year, but because you don't know it yet, we cannot cut this image in that shape. So we have to use what we do know. We do know how to find the area of a triangle. And if you look at this shape, it's already cut right here into two triangles. I have this triangle, and then I have this triangle. When you find the area of a triangle, you do A equals one half base times height, because a triangle is just half of a rectangle. You multiply the base by the height, and then divide by 2, okay? So for this problem, we're going to take our first triangle, which is a 4 by 3, and when you're finding the base and the height for any triangle, the base and the height are the two adjacent angles beside, the two adjacent sides beside the right angle. So I have 4 times 3, which is 12, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. So for this red triangle, the area is 6 feet squared. Now for the top triangle. That's what can be confusing because you don't, you think you don't know what the base and the height are for this triangle. However, the base and the height are the two sides that are adjacent to the right angle. So your base is 5 and your height is 6. It looks like the six feet is slanted, but that's because the triangle is turned sideways, okay? So this triangle is actually 
the base is 5 and the height is 6. Okay, so then we plug it into the formula. 5 times 6 is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Once you find the area of both triangles, you can add them together to get the area of the whole composite figure is 21 feet squared. All right, for number three, it's already cut into two shapes. I have a rectangle and I have a triangle. So for my rectangle, it is a six by 10. We multiply the base times the height and that gives us an area of 60 square meters for this part of our image. Now we find our triangle. The height is seven. The base is this side length, six. So to find the area of a triangle, we multiply six times seven is 42. And because it's a triangle, we have to divide by two. That is 21. And now we add the two together. 60 plus 21 is 81 square meters. All right, for number four, I have two semicircles. So I have to find the area, because they have different diameters, I have to find the area of both semicircles and then add them together. So I'm going to start with this six centimeters and find the area of this circle. Area equals pi r squared. The diameter is six, so the radius is half of that, which is three. So I'm solving 3.14 times 3 squared. When I plug that in, I get 28.26. But I only have this half of this circle. So I have to take the area of a circle with a radius of 3 and divide that area by 2 because I only have half of the circle. That gives me an area of 14.13, which is going to round to 14.1. And now I have this circle with a diameter of 5. If the diameter is 5, then the radius is 2.5. I plug in 3.14 times 2.5 squared. And that gives me 19.625. Again, that's the area of the whole circle. I only have this half of the circle, so I'm going to divide the area by 2. And that gives me 9.8125, so I'm going to round to 9.8. And then add the 2 together, 14.1 plus 9.8 is 23.9 centimeters squared. For number five, the first thing we're going to do is cut our shape into a rectangle and a triangle and fill in any missing information. So the height of this triangle is 12 and the base is this whole bottom is 22 the top part is 14, so when you take out the rectangle, you're left with 8 centimeters for the triangle. Now we find our area. We have a rectangle that is 12 by 14, so I'm going to multiply 12 times 14 is 168. Then I have my triangle which is 12 by 8. To find the area of a triangle, you multiply base times height and then divide by 2. 96 divided by 2 is 48. Now I add these two areas together. 168 plus 48 is 216 centimeters squared. All right, for the next one, 
I'm going to cut right here to make this little rectangle and then this rectangle. Fill in the missing information. If this whole top is 10 and this part is 4, then the bottom is 6 centimeters. If this whole side is 10 and the bottom part is 5, then this part is 5 centimeters. So now I can find my areas. I have a 10 by 6. When I find the area of that, that's 60. And then I have this 5 by 4. And when I find the area of that, that is 20. And I add them together to get 80 centimeters squared. All right, we know that there are multiple ways to find area of composite figures. But I'm going to do a way that most of you probably figured out but I've not demonstrated for you yet. I'm going to find the area of this entire big square, and then I'm going to take out this part, okay? So this whole thing is 10 by 10, which is 100 for this whole thing. This smaller part is a 6 by 5, which is 30. Because this square has this 30 centimeter square area cut out of it, I'm just going to subtract. And that gives me 70 centimeters square. And really, we can do the next problem the same way, because I have this whole 9 by 7. So I'm going to take 9 by 7, and that is 63 for the whole area. And I'm going to take out, if this is 7, and this top part is 5, then down here, if 7 minus 5 is 2. If this is 9, and this is 6, then 9 minus 6 is 3. So I'm going to take out this 2 by 3, which is 6, and 63 minus 6 is 57 inches squared. For the next one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to find the area of this whole 18 by 25. Which is 450. And then I'm going to take out this part. If the bottom is 25 and I take out this 10 that's included, that leaves me with 15. If this is 18 and I take out this side that's 12, this is 6. So I find the area of the small rectangle that's taken out of the big shape, that's 90. And subtract 450 minus 90 is 360 square feet. And for the last one, I'm going to cut this into a triangle and a rectangle. If this whole bottom is 10 and this part is 2, then the base of the triangle is 8. The height of it is 5 plus 3, which is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. And when you find the area of the triangle, you have to divide by 2. And then this is a 2 by 3, which is 6. And 32 plus 6 is 38 square feet. The triangle has an area of 32, and the little rectangle has an area of 6. So we add them together to find our area.